Hey guys, this is Coach Jerome from Mississauga Monarchs. Uh, right now, I'm just going to run you guys through a practice plan of what you can do for your team as we are in different times, of course, due to COVID. But right now, I'm going to run you through a practice plan. I have uh, Carlita, who's a basketball player. I'm just going to use her as an example of what you can do for your players, for your team, and just different things you can mix up just to kind of get your, your practice plan into a good routine and as well as your players into something a little bit different week by week. Okay, so stay tuned. Watch out. Hey guys, so for the first thing, what I always like to do, I like to get uh, our player, Carlita, um, into a good dynamic stretching warm-up uh, that they start to get warm and get their body loose. Carlita's going to come over here. So normally this is going to be a side-to-side -side thing, in the sideline to sideline. Right now we're just going to use the length of the court going this way, okay? So we're going to have the player start on the baseline, start right here. They just start right here, perfect. And we're going to have him do a light jog, there and back two times, dribbling the ball. Ready? Go ahead, go. Good. Nice, good. Nice and casual, very loose. Go at 60 to 70 percent. Good, perfect. One more time. Good. Good job, good job. Perfect, right there, perfect, good. Okay, the reason why I always start off very light is because again, they're just coming into the gym. It's not about going 100% right away, it's about warming up and taking your time to the motion. Okay, that's the first one. The second one, what I like to do, I like to get now skips going into it. So we're gonna start with our left hand. And we're gonna skip all the way through, to sideline to sideline. Go ahead, okay, skip. Pound the ball, pound the ball, good, nice. Make sure you put a lot of focus on dribbling and pounding the basketball, okay? Good. Nice, switch hands, coming back one more time. Same thing, left hand, always start off with the weak hand as much as possible. Good, and switch hands, perfect. Right hand coming back, great. Good, the next step what I will have is again, is a dynamic warm up, so I'll go in into a lunge. Nice deep lunge. You can either extend it where you're not dribbling the ball or you can go into a dribble. Okay, I'm going into a dribble with one hand, left hand all the way through. Okay, let's practice the dribble one. Left hand lunging. Ready to go? Good. Nice. Just keep the dribble. Just keep the dribble. Good. Yeah. Good. Nice. Keep that dribble. Good. Perfect. So now you can really mix up whatever you want to do. It's either you can lunge. You can lunge with your hands high, or you can lunge based off of with the dribble. Okay, so if you want to really change that dynamic and get more dribble added to your player, you can do that, of course, with the dribble. We're going to do the exact same thing coming backwards, okay? So we're going to do the exact same thing coming backwards. You really want to keep your chest up, emphasize your leg. Go backwards, dribble backwards, lunge. Good, 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 Perfect, stop right there, perfect, okay. Another thing we're gonna do, we're gonna keep the dribbles nice and tight, some crossovers, you're chopping your feet, I call it the crab walk, you're just gonna be dribbling, crossover all the way through, okay? From side to side as well, ready, go. Keep it tight, pound, pound, good, pound that ball, good, nice, good. Keep your eyes up, perfect, see that ball, very good, very good. Good job, good job. Same thing coming back. Perfect. Same thing coming back. Good. Dribble. Good. Perfect. So the main thing here, as you can see with the player, you really want to pound that ball, keep your chest up. You can really see kind of what's going on on the one side. Good. Another thing we're going to add now, I like to go into either a high knees or a butt kicks. It's really dependent on what you want to do with your players, how much time you want to go into your warm up. So Use any drill you want to do. Okay, so right now we're going to do, just do high knees with the dribble. Keep your dribble. Coming back, we're just going to go butt kicks. Okay, high knees, go, other hand. Good. Nice, nice and high. Take your time. This is all about a warm up, so it's not about going 100% right away. 
we're gonna go bug kicks, right hand dribble, good. Good, so right now, once they start to get warm up, it should be around 80% what they do. Okay, that's perfect. Good, another thing now, what I like to do in terms of my ball handle, I go now into a lot of crossover moves, stationary crossover moves. Whenever we get into our ball handling series, it's very important that we start to ramp it up a little bit so they can start sweating. Okay, so whenever I give you through a series of ball handling moves, you can do from side to side. So Khalid, I'll stay right here. Okay, we're just gonna go in and out. This move that I'm showing you guys is gonna be a stationary move going from sideline to sideline. But instead of having her go all the way there and back, it's gonna do all stationary. So we're gonna show a, a left hand in and out dribble, east west, if you wanna show me that. Count that ball, good. Very tight. Good, perfect. Okay, and we're gonna do that on the move, typically when we're going sideline to sideline. Show me your right hand, good. Okay, so one way is gonna be your left hand, and then coming back is gonna be your right hand. Typically start off with your weak hand, just so they can get more reps on that, just in case. Okay, another move we're gonna add is gonna be an in and out, in and out crossover. In and out crossover, show me that one. In and out cross, in and out cross, perfect. Good, good balance, feet is balanced, chest is up. Okay, good motion, keep that handle tight. Perfect. Another one we're gonna add as well. We're just gonna go high dribble for two. One, two, and then two low dribbles. One, two. One, two, one, two. Show me that one, let's go. One, two, low. One, two. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. Good. One, two, one, two. Good. That's a lot of balance, that's a lot of control in your dribble. Let's show the other hand. One, two, one, two. Good. One, two. Good, one, two, good, perfect. Another thing that you wanna add as well when you're going sideline to sideline is a different mixture of your dribble. So we're gonna stay nice and low, good frame, and we're gonna have fingertip dribbles. So if you're going forward, it will be fingertips. Same thing backwards, if you wanna show me that one, Carlita. Good, very low, very low fingertips, good, perfect. Show me the other hand, please, perfect. Good, then we're gonna dribble from our knee down, nice and tight, knee down, ready to go? Pound it, pound it. So bring it up a little bit, bring it up a little bit. Right there, perfect, cut. Pound, show me your other hand. Good, good, nice. And then we're gonna go nice high dribbles, nice very high dribbles. Get up to your shoulder, get up to your shoulder. Pound that ball, put a lot of focus from your shoulder going down. That's very good. Okay, let's try the other hand. Good, nice, very good. Good, perfect. Another move that we would like to do that you can add as well, going behind your back, continuous. Okay, so one motion behind your back. See that one? Good. Good, very good. Very good. Good job, good job. Good, perfect. And remember, all of these moves should be on the go. Okay, so it's never just a stationary move. You want to get them really ramped up, so it's always from sideline to sideline. Okay, a couple other, I'll give you about three or four more ones that we can add. Okay, another three or four more ones that we can add as well. It's gonna be a crossover between your legs. Cross between your legs. Show me that one, Carlita. Cross between your legs, good. Down that ball, that's your focus, good. Good. Perfect. Try the other side. Remember, we go from one sideline doing one move and then coming back, we're going to the other sideline. Good, very good. Down that ball, good. Good job, Carlito, very good, very good. Perfect, another move we like to add as well. Okay, if you wanna come back here, we're gonna go cross between the legs behind the back. Okay, so now this is a continuous move because we're switching hands. So it's gonna be left, between the legs, behind the back, then bring it back to the other side. One, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. Let's show me that, Carlito. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, perfect, okay? Now the key thing here as well, whenever you're dribbling, it's about focusing on your shoulder and focusing on as much as you can dribble pounding the ball, okay? So it's never going through a light action motion. You're really trying to put focus on every single thing you do. Try that again, Carlita. Pound that ball, the pound. One, two, three, good. And that's exactly what I wanted to see. It's okay if you lose the ball because now you're putting a lot of focus on your dribble. So it's gonna be a little bit awkward, but I want you guys to practice that. Try that again. One, two, three, perfect. One, two, good, keep going. Perfect. Remember guys, that is part of the development. If you lose that basketball, it's really the focus on you dribbling the ball down, okay? So 
I'll give you two more just in terms of what you can do. These are all your warm-ups, what you really want to start getting your players into. So now they get into a great uh, practice because now that's going to be an hour and a half or two hour practice. Now we're going right into it. Okay, another last one I like to do. I like to just focus on one hand. So just cross in front and go between your legs. So just a cross between your legs, cross between your legs, keeping your other hand out of the way, but still protecting the ball. Show me that one. Good, perfect, yeah. Good, good, pound that ball, good. Very good, try the other side. Good, this is sometimes a challenge with a lot of people. It could be their left hand if that's their weak hand. This is what we want to focus on, that's important. So, very good. Good job, good job, good. Okay, and then the last one that I really like to do are wraparound dribbles, okay, because we can show this one on the move. So if you're here, I need to go from sideline to sideline, you're just going to wrap the ball around, take a dribble, and wrap around. So your focus is to really get that ball going around. Okay, let's practice that one, okay? Good, yeah, one dribble, wrap around, one dribble, nice, good. Now, the focus thing right there, the focus right now is to really keep your upper body up and get a good wrap around. Okay, so really keep that ball coming around without staying too low. Okay, stay high. Go. Wrap it around. Good. Nice. Stay high. Good. Good job. Good job. Very good. Okay, perfect. So that is a lot of our warm-up that we will do. You can add a little bit more additional warm-up stuff if that's what you have. But the important thing here is to start off about 70%, maybe 80%, and then ramp it up where you can feel like you're going 100%. Obviously, Kelly has a good sweat going on right now. So that will be a great transition into our actual focus of the practice. So everything that we do from here on out is very intentional, very time sensitive, and very dependent on the skill level of your players. Okay, great guys, that's your warm up. Look out for the game plan coming up. Good, perfect. So first step that I like to do with a lot of the players is fundamental. I do the footwork and then going into their finishing and their handle. Okay, so we're gonna go with the basic right now for your one, two, going up for your standard layup. So if you watch here, you wanna dribble on your right foot, go ahead. One, two, going up for your layup, perfect. Go well, again, we'll go a couple times. It's not about the miss or make right now, it's just about your action and your footwork. Keep going for the layup. One, two, perfect. Good. Give me two more. And then after this motion, what we're gonna do is also mix it up, keep it up. Good. Nice. Right. Underhand scoop for now, that's our focus. Okay, now we're gonna actually go off foot. So we're gonna dribble on our left, two, we're gonna go off foot, and right hand finish. So practice that one, Kalita. Two, perfect, good. Go. Very good, very good. Dribble on your left, one, two, perfect, okay? One more time. Okay, so a lot of fundamentals on your footwork as you can see here. That's our focus. So that's very good, perfect. So now the next one we're going to do, okay, we're going to practice our reverse. So we're going to dribble, we're going to dribble, right, left, finish with your right hand on the opposite side with your right hand. Go. Dribble with your right hand. One, two, one. Okay, that's going to be our focus. That's our finishing moves right now. Okay, a lot of focus on your footwork. Try that again, Freddie. One, two, perfect. Okay, a lot of reversals for now. Okay? After that, we're going to mix it up again. So we're going to do the reverse. We're going to go on the left. One, two, we go with the left hand on the opposite side. Go to the two, two, one. Nice, very good. It is a lot of focus. Keep it very nice. After this drill, we're going to do the exact same thing on the left side. So what I like to do is have, if we're using two nets, have half of the team on this side, half of the team on the other side. Very basic. Keep it very nice and tight. It's very fun Great, right now what we're gonna do is a lot of shooting, okay? So I like to start from the three-point line, two dribbles, attack the paint. Okay, that's gonna be very important as the next level you really wanna get a paint touch. So we're gonna go two dribbles with your right hand or left hand, get inside the paint, go into your jump shot, give a couple reps so they start to get into the habit of making or missing, and then you can kind of give good constructive criticism on their jump shot. So watch here. Two dribbles from the three-point line, go to the ground, get to the key, yeah. Two dribbles, get to the key. Perfect. Now, one thing we're going to also add here, the major thing is for your release. So as a coach, you really want to watch your release point 
And a couple of things you want to focus on is try to get that middle finger going through the basketball so you can get some ball spin. That's very important to give a better chance of your shot going in. And then of course, holding your follow through as a player. Okay, so you're going to see a lot of players really like to just shoot and drop their hand as quickly as possible. You really want to make sure that they're kind of following through and holding the release. So watch these two more reps. Come through with two dribbles, shoot, hold your release, try to get the middle finger going through the ball. Good. is those points. So as you can see as a coach, I don't care about the miss or make. Right now, initially, once they start getting the proper form, they're gonna be making more. So it's, the focus is not just because the ball went in, it's really focusing on their mechanics and what that looks like as a basketball player. Good job. To solidify what is gonna be your pivot foot, so if it's your left foot, if you're on the, uh, the left side of the court, then it's gonna be your right foot. If you wanna attack middle, this is now, called a cross step. Terminology is very important in basketball. You really want to use it at a younger age. So by the time they're a lot older, they're going to be able to apply right away. So this is the spin out. They're going to solidify their pivot foot. Cross step, so your pivot's going to be your left. You're going to cross step and dribble as you step. Then you're going to go into your jump shot. Watch here for a couple of reps. Good, 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 good. Good. Remember to hold your release, the whole aspect. Hold your release. Down. Good. Two. Hold your release. Good. Go one more. Spin it out. Down. Hold your release. Good. Very good. Good. So that's the focus right now. Good. Now the key thing here as well, when you're doing these moves, this is wing attacking moves, okay? When you're doing a wing attack move, you want to stay very low, you want to st still stay very leveled and in front of the defender. So you're in balance and you're in control. Just in case you want to go lead way, just in case you want to cross step, it's you staying nice and low and balanced so you can have that advantage out to your defender. Okay, so a lot of these moves that I'm now showing you are going to be wing moves that you want to apply for your wings, okay? So another thing, here's another move. As we attack, so we're gonna jab again. Okay, we're gonna roll it out, we're gonna jab, we're gonna attack middle on one or two dribbles, change direction, change direction, and finish strong at the rim, okay? Perfect, oh, okay. hard attack. So as soon as we do this first move, okay, we're gonna roll it out, maybe take one dribble, go behind your back, and change direction, one more dribble, finish at the rim. Ready, go. Stay nice and low, or jab, one move, same direction, attack, good, perfect. You do the exact same thing. The key here is to limit your dribbles. Okay, so you're really trying to go from point A to B uh, in less time, less dribbles as possible, just so that you give yourself a fighting chance to score that layup and if the defense is not collapsing as quickly as you can. Okay, so focus here, jab again, game speed, hard jab, break the leg, punch, good, change direction. Good. Okay. This time we're going to do the same move, we're going to finish reverse. So now you can start playing with the finishes, kind of what you worked on at the beginning, but now you're focusing on different finishing moves. Same move as the attack with the reverse, right or left hand reverse. Go. All right, jab out, perfect, take direction, and finish reverse. Perfect. Right. That's your right hand, you practice your left hand, exact same thing. Go. Spin it out, stay nice and low, jab, go again, go again, go again. So now I'm glad that I'm glad that happened because the key thing here as a coach, it's about getting a great rep. It's not just about going through the motions, it's about making sure if they make a mistake on the rep, that's okay. Everyone's gonna make a mistake. But now they just say start again, or if somebody's behind them, they go behind them and wait their turn. Okay, but they're not gonna mess up a rep and then just continue. Let's get perfect reps every time. Go, roll it out. Jab, good. Take the right hand, and finish left hand. Perfect. 
Okay? So these are a couple of wing attack moves. Another one we're going to do as well. This is if a coach is involved and we get in the habit of using our coaches more. So we're going to have a coach playing here. Okay? A player is going to be at the top of the key. You're going to pass down to the coach. You're going to walk down to me. Okay? And then you're just going to touch the ball and space out. And fade away. Fade this way. Perfect. This is called a fade. Okay, we're going to use communication. We're just going to say fade, 45, fade, corner, fade wherever you're going. It's going to be a hard rip and attack. Okay, so start again. Ready. We're at the top of the key. Pass to me. Talk it out nice and loud. Fade. Good. Now come again. Turn again. Okay. The key thing here is the communication with the player. So if the player is not communicating, then you got to slow things down, make sure they understand what's going on. Always ask questions. Always ask, do you understand? Does that make sense? So now they can start to apply. Okay, so as soon as the player comes down and touches ball, as you go this way, it's fade. The word is fade, not ball, not here, here, here. It's fade, or 45, or whatever action you do. Okay, so as soon as you come down, it's going to be a fade, get to 45, rip, one dribble baseline, or two dribbles, get to the rim. Okay, pass out. Good, call fade. Good, go, rip, rip, good. Nice. Perfect. Now pass. Again. Okay, on this rip move, I want you to be nice and low. Okay, be lower than the defender, so really drop your body. Same thing. Get to me. Call fade. Good. Go, rip. Good, nice. Good, perfect. Okay, so a lot of different moves that we can play off this. Now what you're going to do, of course, at the next level, once you get into this motion, now you can add counter moves. Counter is going one way, and then now countering it to go the other way. Okay, so perfect. These are a lot of wing attack moves. You can add one to this, but this is what you want to divide yourselves up and your teammates up into. The key thing here to do as well, understand and train your team like you have guards. Let's call it point guards or shooting guards all in one. And then you have wings. Let's not focus on the center for now. Everybody's a wing. These are all wing moves that you want to apply and that players should be applying as well. If this is a wing move, half of your team is doing the wings, half of your team is doing the guard drills, and then you're going to switch. So everybody's actually learning everything, but you're actually dividing it up based off of height, based off of skill set more so, and then everybody's going to eventually get into the same habit of what they want to do. Okay, perfect, good job. Good, perfect. Right now, this is going to be what we're focusing on with the guards. Okay, so a lot of pick and roll, a lot of pick and roll that we're going to focus on right now, and making greens coming off that pick and roll. If you have an abundance of coaches, then you can start applying your coach on defense as well on the screener, being either a hedger or being a guy that is dropping back. But if it's just one coach, and you could just be physically the screener, and they can just come off the corner. The key thing here, of course, with a lot of the guards is to make sure that they're communicating. So set my screen, fist, a lot of people like to use a fist so they can come up into the screen, call that, and make sure you hold your players accountable to that action. Okay, so right now we're going to focus on our ball screen, and then we're going to attack for a couple reps, and then after we're going to focus on our ball screen again, attacking and going to our jump shot. Okay, so watch Carlina here. I'm going to be a coach, I'm going to be on the 45. As she comes down to the 45, she calls the screen, nice and loud. Good. I stand up here as a coach, you turn the corner, turn the corner nice and tight, and attack strong. Okay? That's what it's going to look like. Of course, we're going to have a lineup over here, and we're going to keep it flowing the same way. Okay, so try that again, Carly, to come down. Good. Nice and loud, perfect, yep. Yeah. Good. Good, perfect. Nice. Now, the key thing here with a lot of the players, Make sure that they're very patient when they're coming off that ball screen. Because a lot of people are going to want to rush into it. They might hit into you as a coach, or they might just be using that screen so far. So now the defense actually breaks the screen. Okay, so we want to be in a position where they're nice and tight to the coach. As I come off that screen, we can make that play. So try that again one more time, Carlita. Nice and tight. Very loud, very loud. Go. Tight, tight. Good. Nice. Very good. There's no room for the defense to come through. Now we're going to add more into a jump shot as we come to the screen. We go into the jump shot and shoot the shot as well. Same thing. Good. Nice here. Good. Take two dribbles going in. Nice. One, two, three, two. Perfect. Okay. So that's the jump shot series. This time we're going to add to it. So as your player starts to advance, we're going to come down and save the screen. So go over here, Carlito. Save the screen. Put it in your outside hand. Outside hand. Keep it there. Now 
now we're going to deny the screen. So this is in case the defense jumped this way, then now you just cross over or put it behind your back, go baseline into an attack move or a jump shot. Okay, so let's try that full series out. Okay? So you come down, perfect. Nice and loud, deny the screen, deny it, deny it, deny it. Good, go, go. Yeah, perfect. Good. Very good. Okay, we're going to try this again one more time. Okay? So now the key thing here with the player, you don't want the player to come all the way to you and deny the screen because it's either you're going to commit or not commit. So if you're taking that screen, it's either one hard dribble and change direction instead of taking two or three dribbles to get to you and deny the screen. Okay, so focus on the one hard dribble to sell it and then deny the screen. So go ahead, Carlita. Again, perfect. One hard dribble, back. Nice, good. Very good. Right. And we're going to do the same thing now and just add the jump shots. You can mix it up in multiple series. Come again, last one. Good. Call it nice and loud. Deny it. Good. Now go jump shot. Very good. Okay. That's what the series is going to look like. Good shooting, everything. Remember to focus on the mechanics, not the makes. So I know sometimes as a coach, just because they're going to make it, you're going to be like, hurrah, but it's not about the make for me, it's about your mechanics. Does everything flow properly? Does it make sense? Okay, so as a coach, always remember that. That's the development piece that happens. Okay? Now we're going to add to this series as well. Once you now deny the screen and come off the screen, now you go into different counter moves. So remember, a counter move is always changing direction or either just doing the step back and changing whichever pattern that you're going to do going into another round. Okay? So if we deny the screen, come again. Good. We're going to deny the screen. This time we're going to attack and go to a step back. Attack and go to a step back. Okay? Many different options. This time I'm going to use the screen. Same thing. Good. We're going to attack and now we're going to snake the screen to go this side. Good. Okay? So now a different option as you come off that screen. So that's called a snake or an S curl. So it's you just being nice and tight with the screen go to the opposite side, and then you can play an attack off that or a jump shot. So let's show one attack, same, same thing, go down, all the screen, nice and loud, let's focus, snake it, snake it, attack, attack it, go. Okay. So perfect, you want to be nice and close, you want to push with your left hand, open up with your right hand to attack. So you're going to push with your left, you're going to attack it with your right, and attack strong. Go again, good, nice and loud, good. Let's push it to the left hand, push it to the right attack. Good. Very good. Okay, so that's the focus that you want to do on a lot of your stuff. Make sure you're focusing on the right outside hand away from the defender as they come through. And then you attack strong, you go into your jump shot. So many different series. This ball handling series alone can take a lot of time and it's a lot of focus. So Please don't cut this short. This can be extending to about 30 minutes with your guards, and then you swap through. So everybody's doing the exact same thing. So you're never gonna have your wings or your so-called centers just doing what they do as a center. Everybody's focusing on what they gotta do here in terms of their wings and their guards are just grouped together, and then they're gonna be swapped. So now the wings are gonna be doing the guard stuff, and the guards are gonna be doing the wing stuff. So everybody's doing stuff. Good job. Okay, great. So what we just worked on before was the wing action. What we worked on also before was the guard action. What we're going to do right now is specific to players who need a, lot, a little bit more development and a little bit more hands-on. So it comes in very handy when you have an abundance of coaches that can really step in and help out. Um, especially if this may be a taller player. As you got to know, a lot of the taller players, especially when they're younger, it takes them a little bit longer to develop. So it's very important that you put that focus and that energy into them now because you're probably going to need them throughout the season as a rebounder, as another outlet option, or just someone who kind of finish very close around the rim. So what we're going to work on right now is just if the player is very raw, they're maybe new to the team and they got to work on their footwork, they got to work on their rebounding, they also got to work on their finishing with their right and left hand, uh, and even just their touch as a big player. Okay, so right now Carlita's going to show you couple of rebounding drills, a couple of footwork drills. As you guys may or may not know, the mic hand drill, very close to the rim, for extension with your right hand and left hand, okay? Stay tuned. Okay. So we're gonna the ball off the backboard, catch it, bang. Nice and low, good, yeah? So, ah, perfect. Good, 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 perfect. Now the key thing here, okay, it's really to catch that ball as a peak. 
on the peak. And so when, as soon as you throw that ball up, try to jump as high as you can to catch it on the peak height and come back down and secure the ball. Try not to drop the ball too low, okay? You, and I don't mind a little bit of a dip just for the elbow action, but it's not below your chest. You wanna keep that ball nice and high and throw it back up again, okay? That's the first rep. This time we're gonna catch the ball again and we're gonna get into our footwork. So on the right side, we're gonna go left, right, and go into your footwork, finish. Okay, so it's gonna be a left, right, finish with your right hand. On the left side, of course, it's gonna be an inside, outside, finish. So inside, outside, and finish nice and strong. Okay, you're going out for two feet right now, which is why you're going inside, outside. So it's one, two, to finish nice and high. Okay, watch here. One, two, perfect, good. Again, good job. What you're gonna see here as well, what you're gonna see here as well, she's taking a little bit of a dip from her knees, which is phenomenal. Okay, so you wanna really play low to the ground. It's not always about being tall and you run like this. Sometimes you gotta dip a little bit lower just from your knees, not necessarily the ball, just so you can be more explosive. You're more explosive when you bend your knees to jump up, as opposed to stay high and you're jumping like that the whole time. Okay, perfect. Now this time what we're gonna do is just a continuous layup. We're gonna do a continuous layup. So this is the mic and drill. It's on the right hand side, rebound, catch the ball, rebound, catch the ball all the way through. Okay? Right. Rebound. So layup right in the middle. Rebound. Perfect. So the focus here again, as you see, the ball is in the hand. Okay, she's focusing on just finishing, keeping a nice touch with her right hand, going all the way up, full extension with her right hand. Okay, so everything we do with the right hand, of course, we do with our left side as well. Okay, so we're gonna take this to the left side. Same thing. You guys already know the rebounding drill. Now we're gonna go with our left hand exact same thing. Just Okay, so now we're gonna go continuous. So as soon as you finish on your right side, we go with the left side. This is all part of the mic and drill, very great drill for those who are going into it and very new to this, okay? So watch the mic and drill here. Here you go with the left hand, then go to the right hand. Left hand, take the rebound, go to the right hand. Take the rebound, good job. Very good. So as you can see, the ball is nice and high. Okay, good focus on the rim all the way through, okay? That's the mic and drill. As we start to add to it, what we're gonna do is just a reverse order, okay? So now you're gonna dribble down, one dribble down, so top frame, you go up with your left hand. So one dribble down, pop on two, so the top frame, finish off, go. Good, nice. Good, so now left side, perfect. Good, that's a series, one more. Nice. Okay, we're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side as we already know with the right hand and left hand. Another one we can do is a reverse order, so you're gonna be reversing it around the rim. Okay, it's gonna be a little bit awkward at first for a lot of people, but this will give them a nice touch around the rim. Very good. So you're gonna see a lot of soft touches. This requires you to have a lot of soft touch with their hand, feeling that ball flicking off their hand, which is very important, okay? So these are small stuff that you can apply with your, your bigs that you'll call them, or people that are a little bit more raw, or just need a little bit more development. Please spend that time, invest that time into those players because they're gonna be very handy. Every player from a roster of one to 12 or one to 15 has an importance of the team. But you as a coach, it's your importance 
to make sure that you're helping your development all the way through. So please invest that time. If there's only, let's call it one coach and there's 15 or 12 players, then split them up into different groups. Maybe have one of your players be a leader for that day to hold your group accountable. While you as a coach can focus on one player and make sure that everybody else is working at the same time. These are small snippets right now that we're just creating for you coaches to help you guys out throughout this quarantine time, so this COVID time. We're gonna continue to add more, we're gonna continue to give you more film and video footage as well, but apply some of this in your practice, especially if it's over two hours, space it up accordingly. Uh, in between their, their, their breaks as you switch group from guards to wings or from uh, a, a big working on their move, I always like to give them some cardio in between. So maybe just running from sideline to sideline or doing a suicide before we get water, and then after we go in and, and, and switch groups. So it's very important that they continue to get their cardio in, but at the same time that they're working on the development during these times. Stay tuned. Again, Coach Jerome, I'm gonna help you out as we go through. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to message us. Great.